Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we talked about the product rating report Excel template and its features, and we had a quick overview of the template. And in this video, I am going to do step-by-step -step data entry into the template, and we will see how the template responds. And just to recap, this template is helpful to summarize the product rating data that you may have about your products from your customers and especially when you are rating the products based on one to five star scale. And so that's the specific domain in which this template is applicable. So now let's get started. So now I have the template open where we don't have any data. This is what it'll look like when you download the template. And the first thing is to enter the data in the data sheet, and then we will see the report sheet just in a while. So now in the, in the data sheet, you are going to enter the products and then the star ratings. The main thing to keep in mind here is that if you start entering your data in row 10, for example, and I'm gonna you know, type my product name, then please note that this will not be included in the report. As you can see, the product table is still only this data. And if you want to know what the table uh, boundaries are just click inside the table and then hit control a and then now you will see that the product table only includes until row number eight so if i enter something in row 10 that is not part of the table so you will not have the data captured in the report so the first and most important thing to note is start entering your products from row eight here so i'm going to start typing my product name and hit tab and I go to the next column. This is the number of one star rating that I've received for this product. So let's say I've received one and then I've received one two star and then I have not received any three stars. I have received uh, you know 10 four stars and 25 stars. So what has happened now is these three columns are automatically calculated. We can see that I have totally 32 ratings and then the average score was 4.5. And so this is these things are automatically calculated and I'll come to the rank just in a minute. So the product category is how I want to categorize my products. So this is a free form field. You can type, you know, according to your product hierarchy and the product, the second product name I'm going to do is let's say I do Gantt Shot Maker. And this one, let me say, for example, I don't have zero or two star, but I have five, three stars, 15, um, four stars and 25 five stars and this is a project management category so now what happens is I can see that the number of ratings for Gantt chart maker is 45 and the average score is 4.4 and the template the last column is ranking the products based on the average score so let's say for example this score uh, instead of the four stars being uh, three stars, let me say there is no three star rating. Now you see what happened. The average rating of the Gantt chart maker is higher and so the ra rank changed. And so this is how the template works in the product table or the data sheet. Now we have entered some data and I wanna see the report based on the data I have entered so far. And I can go to the report sheet and I'll see that there's nothing there, everything is blank. So it's very important you read this message here, refresh all from the data ribbon. Until then, the report will not be capturing the new data that you have entered. So I go to the data ribbon, hit on refresh all. Now I see that my charts are populated, my slicer is populated, everything is populated. So the top section, the product category of calendars and so if I only see my calendar products, then I hit calendars, then everything gets updated for that. And you can see that the number of ratings that I've received is 32, average is 4.5, and I can see the breakdown by the star rating. I can also see the overall average by product. If I wanna see all the products, I hit this little button here, clear the filter. Now I'll see all my products. The number of ratings that I've received for all the products. If you want to write any comments, you can just double click this and write, you know, the Gantt Shot Maker has received more reviews than before. Some story behind the data that you're presenting. So you can write your own comments here. That is all the template is about. It's very simple. The main thing to focus is to make sure that the table includes all the data you have entered. Another reminder, there's a little down arrow here and that is that shows the end of the table. As long as your data is within the end of the table, 
your, your data will be captured in the report. The other way to test it is click on any cell and go and see the top ribbons. And if you see the table tools design, that means you are inside a table. If you click here, you can see here now that I don't see the table ribbon, which means that I'm not inside the table. So this is how you can check whether your data is actually within the table or not by clicking and seeing the ribbon and also by looking at the, the down arrow at the bottom right corner. And then the last way of, there are multiple ways of checking. The last way of checking is the formatting of your table. So for example, you can see the difference. This is gray colored. If I enter a new product here, for example, project planner, and now you can see that this is alternating gray and white color formatting. And in here, you don't see the alternating gray and white. That means this is not part of the table. This is part of the table. So that is, um, keep that in mind. Uh, this, the template itself is very simple. One table to enter the data and then one report sheet, which is all ready to be printed or exported to PDF by clicking file print or going to file export as PDF. So this is a very simple template focused on a very, very specific objective. If you have any questions or if you have suggestions to improve this template, please leave them in the comments. I'll be very happy to respond. And thanks again for watching this video.